G'day guys, welcome to this week's weekly developer update. I'm CW and joining me once again we have Armenio. How are you mate? Doing pretty well, doing pretty well, good week. Yeah, another crazy week in crypto. We saw a lot of things happening in the industry. So let's maybe discuss a couple of things external and maybe internal. Sure. Uh, let's see internal. What's some interesting new news? Uh, looks like there's going to be breeding on the uh, Ergo blockchain this week. <laughs> with a bit mass, right? So yeah, that's finally pretty cool. getting on, on Ergo on chain. That's pretty cool. Uh, what else? Ledger uh, was a big drama this week. Um, yeah. No, it is what it is. I mean, I always say, you know, your assumptions, right? And you have a private company that part of their build is closed source, so you can't really see what they're pushing. And now they could, you know, say, we're going to take keys and spread it across three potential entities, and it opens up all kinds of questions, yeah. like uh, in terms of actual custody, and could somebody say, hey, you know, CW, I don't like how you think or what you believe or whatever, and uh, potentially seize your crypto on the back end. Yep. Uh, yeah, so a lot big of drama. scenarios there. Yeah, big drama. Yep. Uh, uh, one of the things so that they, piqued my interest was Dexy, um, seeing the sort of first arbitrage um, transaction go through and utilizing the um, the UI that's actually been sent up, uh, set up, which is fantastic. I think that looks fantastic. Yeah, it's coming together really nice. I'm excited to see that pushed out. Uh, Auction House is coming out with the update, and they've got some got a pretty nice uh, coverage here. Yep. Duck Pools is moving along, so there's a lot of stuff in motion always. Yeah, it's um, it's one thing I never fail to sort of I know, get excited about and jump into the ecosystem because there's so much going on 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 multiple different fronts in regards to development and. Um, We've said it a few times uh, previously to this, and everything's kind of at that point where it's kind of the culmination is happening. Everything's sort of at that stage where things will start to start to be released, and um, yeah, it's it's really exciting time for the ecosystem as a whole. Yeah, I always love it on these dev updates where somebody disappears for a bit and then they just pop up and you know drop new news. Right, that's awesome. Yep, exactly. But speaking of which, uh, let's sort of let's go and jump in. So, kicking things off this week, we have Mr. Stahlfeld go back. So he's released Wallet App version two point four point two three zero two. Thanks for those numbers. Uh, the bug fix for the Node blockchain API users. Let's also export transactions to CSV. Um, that one has been requested in the ecosystem for a while now uh, it's good to see we have that um, it's available on github google play beta or terminus test flight that also has made an issue for blockchain api to add an unspent box to add unspent boxes by address delta endpoint uh, so you can see uh, more on that on that link um, so when it's implemented, the wallet applications can hold the set of unspent boxes locally and bring up warnings uh, for storage rent. That's a pretty nice use case. Yeah. All right. Looks like next we have Pidea. Looks like the contracts for beta are done. This means that they must, or that... Uh, most of the MVP functionality is in place and ready to be tested and reviewed. It ended up being 25 separate ergo scripts. So odds are there is an issue or two. So I invite everyone interested to have a look and submit issues about anything that is not clear, weird, or just plain wrong. The contracts can be found there. Drops uh, open source uh, Git. Great to see. Yep. Uh, finishing up some small off-chain code tasks and we'll deploy the beta contracts tomorrow once deployed i will test them through the api directly and start integrating them with the front end expect that to be done within two weeks at which point the beta will be available for everybody that's huge yeah it's awesome a lot of people are following along on this uh sort of flagship um application for the ecosystem a lot of um 
a lot of different projects can utilize the DAO framework that's what they're building here um, for the treasuries, uh, governance, everything like that. So yeah, a lot of use cases on that front. It's a powerful tool. Yeah. Okay. Speaking of powerful, uh, now we've got some breeding with the bit masks. So deployed the breeding protocol last week, uh, doing final tests for two bit masks, one scroll breeding UI, and we'll officially launch the ergo breeding end of the week. Awesome. Yeah. All right. Looks like next we have Green Hat. Uh, progress there. Released a new Ergo Live version 0 0.24.0 for Sigma Rust. Uh, found the reason for Ergo Tree parsing fail in issue 707 and included backtrace on an error in the Sigma interpreter. Started implementing uh, the monitoring and added action reporting storing. Uh, work in progress is testing the top up box or the top up from buyback box. Uh, next, to continue monitoring uh, implementation and test the new governments, our governance, simplified voting, and the uh, gold erg pool on testnet. Sweet, just grinding away. Okay, next we have Morphic, and he's working towards Sigma version 5.0.8. They support, support Scala.js and further reorg, the part four. A review comments addressed on the Ergo node front has reviewed uh, PR 1444 and 1985. Then miscellaneous got access to chat GPT plugins. So now experimenting with a plugin for uh, which can access Ergo node API. Be interesting to see what comes out of that. So going to write an article about it. And next up, um, upgrade the Yogo node and app kit to the latest Sigma version and implement multi-sig in app kit based on EIP 11. Awesome. All right. Looks like uh, Alex is up next for the node and protocol development. He made another round of review for, uh, looks like uh, EIPs. Uh, you proved something. He reviewed the Scorex uh, Sigma State Interpreter update, found issues uh, there. So it'll go back to review. He's testing uh, version 5.0.11 to propose a release date. Uh, looks like he found that scan API method got too slow on his machine. So there's been some investigation by Fanta. On 5.0.12 now, all the planned bootstrapping with the UTXO set snapshot PRs have been merged, and he's testing it and also polishing it in, uh, looks like, poll 1999. Uh, looks like he's also tested. Uh, another issue it seems the boxes for old scans are lost after update, so he's going to fix the PR next week probably. Uh, with Dexy and other matters, he fixed the LP swap to disallow to take less tokens or ergs if it is profitable for the LP. By that intervention is, or as it was done, is now safe. Uh, the first free mint transaction was done with the UI, and there's been some ongoing discussions in terms of SIG Gold design uh, with Bruno, who is kind of the godfather of the AGUSD framework. Um, one nice thing there is with SIG Gold, we have the capacity to potentially use that as a playground uh, for potential updates for SIG USD. That way, uh, you know, something that uh, shows resilience or shows a uh, benefit uh, can easily be added and updated versus, you know, updating something that's existing and hoping it works, <laughs> uh, which is all especially with a couple yeah. of million locked there. Exactly. Uh, so that's a good way forward there. Looks like he's checking recent discoveries made for Ethereum's before merge P2P network. Uh, ETH Pow is affected, it seems, uh, but I don't think ETH Pow has actually done much other than oh. work. <laughs> yeah. Uh, looks like uh, from first look, or goes okay. So that's good to see. Yep. Yeah, that's enough on the Ethereum forks for now.
Um, but yeah, Dex is very exciting. So um, if you want to check out what's sort of going on there, you can jump onto Twitter. You see a couple of short videos of those transactions and things taking place. And the UI looks fantastic at this point in time. But great to see everything moving forward there. Okay, next we have Walker and the Sky Harbor update. So Ergo Pay testing is done. Uh, they'll move the new backend to production this week to deploy Ergo Pay to the website. They've also begun automated collection creation and started building the Ergo transactions to allow for this. Um, all new collections will be created on chain that verify their mint addresses. Uh, that doesn't mean that they will be verified, but they'll have a collection on Sky Harbor to share, making the site more scalable to new artists. And uh, finally, just some site optimization for faster wallet information retrieval. Thanks for the update. It looks like next we got uh, MG Pi finishing up school a week from today. Congratulations, buddy. Yep. Uh, the next few weeks, we'll have plenty of updates for several projects. <laughs> Great. Hey, what's a super reaction now in Discord? Let's let's take a look. Yeah. Was that, that a was... duck or a chicken? What was it? Oh, that's uh, the, the duck with the sunglasses. <laughs> awesome. Save that one for duck pulls. <laughs> no, it's good to see. MG Pi um, has his finger in a lot of sort of places. And um, hey, we're... yeah, so it'd be great to see him have a, a little bit more time on his hands now to see what they come up with, with what he comes up with. Okay, scrolling down, a bit of chatter here about API calls and such. Death grips on um, analog ergo. So finished the automated ergo script contract deployment along with verification of contract value by receiver and working on automated claim from ergo script contract. So second to last step in the swap. Awesome. Yeah. And Noah's also provided the Duck Bulls update. All right. Looks like uh, the majority of the full launch contracts and their off chain components are in their final stage of development. The new pool contracts have been audited and no issues were found. An issue with li liquidations on the collateral contract was found and is being addressed. Uh, partial loan repayments are still in progress. Voting contracts are currently being drafted. Uh, we believe that by the next developer update, all dev components of phase one, excluding the treasury and voting contracts, will be complete. And we will look to begin full launch of private testing on June 1st. That's amazing. Very soon. Good to see. Oops. I ran out of super reactions. I can't give them the, the duck. <laughs> it breaks my heart. Yeah, I'll see if I can bring it up. <laughs> what what did you search where's the duck i have no idea it was just there dopamine duck there you go <laughs> there we go okay enough of those shenanigans uh next we have a non-real with a big update so on sigma usd front fixed a couple of issues optimized box fetching and other explorer interactions so it should be much faster now also working on interacting with the bank directly by Nautilus to bypass proxy contracts. So that will eliminate the need for refunds. So the transaction either goes through successfully or it fails, and then the user pays nothing. So also working on letting users adjust the minor fee. It'll also help users compete with others, um, such as bots who are spending the bank box. Uh, big upgrades for the auction house. So the collection verification is implemented. A badge is now shown uh, next to the verified collection names. Artists can request for their collections to be verified. After connecting their Twitter account to the following um, and following simple steps in the UI. Users can promote their listings now. So they may reverse a, pla reverse a place, reserve a place in the home page or on top of the uh, explore page. Um, so they can have a bigger listing card, for instance, in the Explore page. 
They may also promote their listings by sending a promotional notification to all users. Users may pay fees such as listing and artwork in auction house token as well, uh, as well as ERC. So paying in auction house is discounted, which is pretty cool. Providing a little bit of utility there for their token. And other improvements, selecting artworks for promotions easier now. Users can go to the select mode and start clicking on the listings to select them or use select all. UI checks for new notifications regularly. Also fixed a broken a uh, search API and implemented microservices to calculate artwork stats and collection stats regularly. All right, next we have Soizor uh, with bit domains. Looks like he fixed front end running issue in the contracts. Uh, he's working on a low level AVL tree library, uh, working on higher level AVL tree library uh, that will be like Git block plasma for JS projects uh, built on top of <clears throat> the lower level Wasm AVL tree library looking to contribute uh, as a fleet package. Awesome. CC Nemo. Uh, next, we have a short little update here from Fanta. So, hasn't found too much um, in regards to what Alex was asking uh, previously. I just fixed the scan API timing out in version 5.0.11. And that looks like it is for the what we have for the update this week. So once again, guys, uh, another significant update from multiple parties here. Uh, it's great to see updates from um, Sky Harbor and Duck Pools, for instance. A uh, pretty in-depth uh, update there from a non-real as well on multiple fronts with the SIG USD and um, Auction House, etc. So lots going on in the ecosystem as always. Yeah, I'm I'm actually a little glad there wasn't too much more because I got a plug in my computer. I got like 8% left. <laughs> almost got rugged. Yeah, almost got rugged. But uh, yeah, great updates. I'm looking forward to see duck pools coming online. Uh, looking forward to seeing kind of the breeding stuff uh, with Bitmass. That's pretty cool to see. Um, yep. A lot of good stuff. And then Soy Sauce little project there popping up out of nowhere. Um yeah, Another sort of naming service. So yeah, it'd be pretty interesting to see that one come to life. Definitely. All right, guys. Uh, thanks everyone for tuning into this week's weekly developer update once again. Um, it's always a pleasure uh, bringing these updates to you. And Joe, always a pleasure chatting. Yep. Have a good one, everybody. Take care, guys. Have a good one. <laughs>